Hey everybody, my name's Sandra. I'm going to take you through a stretch class today. So we're going to need a chair and a mat today, uh, or some carpet if you don't have a mat. And obviously a clear space, so please make sure that you've got somewhere where you can work where you're not going to be running into cords or dogs or cats or whatever. Um, and please bear in mind that you always work to your own pace. So if, some, if a stretch is too much for you, please back it off, or if it doesn't feel right, don't do it at all. Um, I'll give you options along the way, so if you want to take it further, you can. If not, you can back it off. All right, so we're going to start with a little bit of mobilisation work. Nothing um, too long today. We are working a lot through the lower body today, so I want to focus the warm-up a lot on that. So we're just circling the hips. Nice big circles and circle it the other way. So warming up the legs and the hips. And if it's a particularly cold day, you might want to put your heat on just a little bit low, just so that you're not stretching on a really, really cold day. And reverse again. And back again. I'm just going to go side to side here, so just tiny little movements here, running the hand down, but don't go too far, particularly if you are cold today. All right, we're going to bring the knees together and start to circle them. So a complete circle with the knees. Don't put too much weight down into them. Reverse it. Reverse back. And again. Good. All right. So we're moving down the leg into the ankle. So I'd like you, if you hang on if you need to here, to take a nice big circle with the big toe. So imagine that you're drawing a circle with the big toe. Reverse it. And we'll go straight to the other side. So circle with the big toe like you're drawing a circle. And go back. Good. All right. So we're going to lift up and we're going to do a swing and release here. So we're bending the knees and swinging. So keep the eye gaze straight ahead, particularly if you've got blood pressure issues or vertigo issues. Nice big swings. Really bending and swinging the arms back and really working with the breath here too. So let it go. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. So we're mobilizing and warming our body. Two more. Good job. All right, so we're gonna take some steps from side to side here. So just little baby squats. Bring the weight straight down. And then we can go forward into a little baby lunge. We're now just going to go side to side. So you might be up here. You might, you might decide that that's as far as you can go today. <clears throat> if you want to, 
elbows to the thighs. And if you want to, take it down the hall and walk across. So really feeling that now through the inside of the leg. Hold it to one side. This is an option, a higher option. Lift the toes of the straight leg. Pop that down, move over, and go the other way. Ooh, feel that. Nice. All right, we're going to roll on up and bring the legs in. Okay, so we're going to get going on these stretches. So take the hands to the lower back. I'm going to open up through the front of the body to start with. So if I go sideways, we're going to pop the hands here, roll the shoulders back, I go up. Tuck your chin in and then pull down. So feel that stretch through your upper back. Tuck your tail under. So you shouldn't be like this, you should be tucking under. Hands to the lower back. Open. Keep the tail tucked. We're going to pull down. Stretch. We'll do it one more time. Hands here, open up. Shoulders really rolling back. Tuck and press down. All right, just roll it out. So we're going to start with a move called the elephant walk. Okay. So for this one, you, if you, the, the wider you have your legs, the easier it will be. Um, so obviously, if your hamstrings are really quite flexible, you might want to come in narrow. And totally up to you. So I'll give you options here. So we're going to bend our knees and bring the chest down to the thighs. Just scooping up the belly and bringing the hands to the floor if you can. Otherwise, you can keep your hands on your thighs. Just try to let your head go a bit here. Gently drawing that navel through to the, the spine. And we're going to go side to side here. So what I'd like you to do is to straighten your right leg. And then move your chest over that left thigh. We're going to walk it back. And to the other side, so straightening the left leg, you're over the bent right thigh, and you're just going from one side to the other, bending and straightening. Bending and straightening. Bending and straight. And then we're going to hold it to the centre. So at the moment, both knees are bent. And just see if you can straighten the legs just a little. And then bend. If it's too much, don't do it. Go back to the elephant walk. Alright, so we're going to bend the knees, bring the hands to the thighs, and use your hands to roll on up. Okay, so grab your chair and you're going to need to be able to put your foot up on either a wall or um, perhaps the leg of a table, anything solid basically that won't move. And make sure your chair is stable as well, please. Alright, so take a seat. <laughs> So we're going to stretch the hamstrings a little bit more. So those muscles that we just just tickled just that, in that last exercise. So one leg is straight. And you'll need to move your chair out to get that leg straight. Okay? The other leg is bent. You're forward on the chair. 
please, please hang on to your chair so you don't fall off. We want to keep this leg straight, breathe in, lift up the chest and then breathe out and fold over that thigh. Just breathe and relax. You should be feeling this right through the back of that leg, maybe even right up towards the bottom, particularly calf and hamstring. All right, we'll go back to that. Just do the other side. So leg straight, breathe in, breathe out. And just recognise any left-right differences. Are you tighter on one side than the other? And perhaps, you know, if you found that, maybe concentrate a little bit more on your tighter side next time you stretch. All right, come on up. Now we're going to add on here. So straighten that other leg. You don't have to add on. You can do exactly as we did last time. So you lift and then you fold. And then if you want to, press your heel down into the floor and your foot into the wall for five, four, three, two, one. Relax, taking a breath in. And on the breath out, just see if you can fold that little bit more. Use that out breath. Breathe and relax. And then release slowly. Come on up. All right. Hopefully you felt that one. So other side. Inhale, lift up. So we don't want to come down all slumpy. So we want to lift and then Slumpy. I don't know whether that's a word, but anyway. Alright. So if you want to, add the contraction. Press down and press towards the wall. For five, four, three, two, one. Relax, breathing in. Breathe out and see if you can fold a little bit more. You can often get that a little bit further after the contraction, after you've relaxed and then use your out breath. Nice, come on up. We'll have a little bit of a walk around. Just get it, everything. Make sure you can still walk, That's, that would be good. All right, and then we're gonna take a seat and do the hips, okay? So if you have hip issues, you may wanna delete this one altogether. I'll leave that up to you. Okay, so I'll give you options here. Place your hand under one thigh and lean back and bring the leg up, flexing the foot. Now you'll see that my other leg is bent. If I go slowly, you can see I'm like this. Okay. Um, if that's too much for you, you can actually straighten that leg and it just eases off through the hips a little bit. Okay. So, or you can lower that crossed leg as well. So you're here. We're going to inhale and lift up nice and tall and then peel the chest down towards the thigh or, to, or rather towards the, um, the calf, I should say. And just breathe and relax. So just release that, change side. And adjust, don't, don't assume that one side will be the same as the other because it really is. Flex the foot, breathe in, breathe out and come forward. And just try to relax through your upper body here as well. It's quite often when people do this, their shoulders are up near their ears. It does not help your hips, trust me. Okay, we're going to go back to that first side 
and add the contraction only if you want to, okay? So we lift, we come forward, and if you want to, this top foot pushes down into your thigh for five, four, three, two, one. Relax, breathing in, breathe out and fold. You're really using that out breath, try to relax. Pressing up and other side. Breathe in, breathe out, peel forward. That's it. Nice. Oh. And if you want to, press that heel or the foot rather down into the thigh for five, four, three, two, one. Relax, breathing in, breathe out and peel forward. Alright, come on up. Lovely. Alright, just have a little walk around if you need to. We're going to go back to the open walk and just see if there's been much of an improvement since we did it last time. So adjust your feet where you need it, bend your knees a lot, Lower the chest, hands to floor if you can. And then start the walk. So walk over to that right thigh that is bent and then straighten the left leg. Brace the tummy, walk it over. You guys know what to do now. From one side to the other. If you can't comfortably reach the floor, just pop your hands on your thighs. Just moving from side to side. All right, one more. And then if you want to, come back to the center, bending both knees, let the head go. We're gonna lift the tail and drop the tail. Lift and drop. Alright, bring your hands to your thighs, press yourself up, roll it up, nice, okay, hip flexors, really important to stretch them out, I'm going to give you an option here, so if you don't want to come down on the floor with me, you can do exactly the same, stretch like this, bending that front knee, tucking the tail under and dragging through, alright. It will all become apparent once we start. So, either using your chair, standing, or come down onto the floor. If you're on the floor and you have sensitive knees, you might want to double up your mat so you, your knee is resting on something with a little bit more um, padding. So, on the floor, we're going to swing one leg forward like this. So, you're basically in the same sort of movement as if you were standing. Okay, hands on the inside, and we're going to lower the back thigh towards the mat. And if you look at me, you'll see that I've got my front foot slightly forward of my knee. Hands on the inside. And we're going to peel the chest through. So imagine drawing your chest towards the front of the mat. If you're standing, it's the same. So you're here, square off, tuck the tail, bending the front leg and you're lifting and lengthening through the chest. Should be feeling it right here. Keep tucking the tail, take a breath in, try to relax into it a little bit more. Good, alright. Press on up. We'll just go there for today, we won't do any contractions, but we will do, need to do the other side. So, standing like this, tucking the tail, coming on down, or using the mat. So, alright. Other leg forward. Alright, make sure.
shoulder foot is forward of the knee. Try to square the hips off. Tuck the tail under. And peel your chest through to the top of the mat. As you do that movement, feel, feel that increase of the stretch. Breathe and relax. Take a breath in and on the breath out, just see if you can maybe bend the elbows if you're down here or go lower if you're standing. Alright, so we're going to press with the hands if you're down on the floor. Take the weight in your hands, pull back. You may want to take a quick little stretch back into child's pose or just come on up. Alright, so. We're moving on to some upper body. Um, okay, grab your chair and maybe pop it somewhere where you know it's not going to move. So I'll pop mine on my mat. So this is a stretch for the shoulders. If you bring your hands about shoulder width apart, you'll need a little bit of a knee bend here. Again, you're gently drawing that navel up into the spine, towards the spine, and all you're going to do is lower, so you'll notice I'm sort of pressing my hips back, knees are soft, and I'm lowering my chest through. So this is a wonderful stretch for the shoulders. You can adjust your feet back a little bit if it's not feeling comfortable for you. Alright, come on up, give the shoulders a little bit of a roll. Now if you felt that you could go a little bit further, this is what we're going to do. So, pop your hands here, bend the knees, lower. And you can either stay here or you can come with me. I'm going to press my hands down towards the floor for five, four, Three, two, one, relax, taking that breath in, breathe out and just see if you can lower your chest through a little bit more. And don't go too, if you've never done a stretch like this before, be very, very careful. All right, release. Nice. All right, give it a roll. So we're going to finish today with a stretch for the neck the all-important neck. Okay. <laughs> so, take a seat and make sure you're seated forward on the chair here. Okay, hands to thighs. We're just going to drop the chin to chest. And as you do that, you should feel a bit of a stretch through the back of the neck. If you have no neck issues and you feel like you do a little bit more without placing, so you're not yanking on your head here, you're just placing your fingers to the upper part of the back of the head and letting the elbows come in. Please don't put any undue pressure on your neck here. And if you have neck issues, don't put your hands there at all. So bring your fingers to the forehead and press your head back up, release, give the shoulders a roll. Now, we're going to stretch the front of the neck here. So it, we need to open our mouth really wide and look up, okay? So it's difficult for me to do that and talk at the same time, I'll do the best I can. So open up nice and wide with the mouth and look up. And then very slowly start to close your mouth so your teeth are touching. If this is an 
enough for you. You can just stay here. Come out of it whenever you feel you need to. If you want a little bit more, you can turn your head just slightly to the right, eyes to the ceiling. To the centre. And then to the left. Back to the centre. All right, we're going to bring the chin all the way back down to the chest to release that stretch. Come back to the centre and roll it out. All right, we'll leave it there today, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day and stay well, stay safe. Thank you. Bye for now.